is my Impact Wrestling Rainsta Collectibles exclusive Jeff Hardy that I won by participating in one of their contests called the Weekly Fan Collection where you basically show them, you know, what your wrestling collection and a while back, anyone who's actually went back to visit my channel, you can see a video there that I used to win, basically showing sure my setup for wrestling. And yeah, this is what I won. They sent it to me out last week, and I think it was season two, episode eight of the show. I think if you go back right now, currently right now, two episodes back, I think you'll see the one we won. So maybe maybe I'll put a, a little description thing on the on the link or something like that. Or, oh, sorry, a link in the description below or a little something that, like, more information to tell you where to go. So this is what I won. This is a pretty cool Joe Hardy. They recently re-released these since fans were asking for it, and I got one of them. And actually a figure that I've been wanting since last Christmas. Fortunate enough to be picked to get this one, so it's very awesome. So... The packaging it comes with is specially decorated to look like Jeff Hardy's helmet that you see right here. But oh wait, what's underneath the helmet you may ask? Oh snap, you're in for a surprise. Oh well, look, it's ugly. Ah! Just kidding, it's not that bad. It's pretty cool. Alright, so, packaging. We're just going to go over that quickly. And I'm David Kitty. Oh snap! Ah! And I'm Pedro. I didn't even introduce that. That people would know us right now. Anyway, so this is the Jeff Hardy packaging decorated to look like this little helmet right here. So if you can see the resemblance. All right, so Impact Wrestling on the top, Jeff Hardy in the bottom. Exclusive sticker them to make you feel special. Little art, this picture of the side of Jeff Hardy, but basically it looks like he just randomly took one in his locker room, be like, "Hey, Jeff Hardy." $10 for a picture just for you to be on a helmet or something. Anyway, so, Joe Hardy in the back screaming very awesomely back when he was the Antichrist. Joe Hardy jumping off something high like he usually does. And a really long, somewhat boring description of him, but not that bad if you don't know him. So, that's it, I guess. You can't really read that anyway because of all the blur. Just know that it says that he jumps out for high places and his name is Joe Hardy. So, we'll have that in the back. This figure comes packaged with... His shirt on and a removable mask, and this is also removable. And attached with the shirt is this, so it is removable. And we'll take a quick look at that first. So we have your heart in the back, and his shirt is held together very nicely because by a rubber band in there, so it's not getting wrinkled or anything. And the upper neck part of the hole where you put your head in or whatever has like a rubber band around it, so it kind of because this is kind of a huge head and his hair is pretty big and voluminous. Like your Hardy style hair. And it like stretches so you can actually open it further. And like some other figures where you have kind of have a tough time with it. It doesn't have sleeves. Since basically I don't think he wears this kind of shirt. He just cuts it up himself. And it has a Enigma logo on his shirt with some kind of a T symbol in the back. Which somehow stands for Jeff Hardy. I see no J in there. So... That's the shirt and the back's just plain old black and it's I said it has the tail thing attached to it that throws to his fans, otherwise it's a towel. And his helmet is very nicely painted as we show us the second accessory. Here you can see it right there. It's painted very nicely, it actually has shading all over it, and mine is mine came with a weird splotch of black paint on the on the forehead of it. But it's painted with pink, pinkish purple, and a very light blue on the side, and it has like a horns on the side of it making it look like a ram with also black shading in between the lines and everything so at least that it's some type of detail and on the inside of it there's a little groove or an indent where because it's your Hardy's mouth is so open use that groove to put that inside of his mouth so that he can securely hold it like that right there so that's what it looks like that's how you attach it and that's how it's held up so this is very nice accessory um, just wish that Jack Specific won't have to do exclusive figures for you to get a good accessories because Mattel does these all the time with their elite collections. So now along with the figure, he comes um exclusively in what is like his return attire, I guess, when he returned back to TNA, he became wearing all these sleeves things with like electricity lines going through it. So the figure is like pretty plain. A lot of figures come out without design right now. And the face paints, uh, most of the time he tries to go for a paint that would match his outfit. But this one is like blue, white with black, I guess. But it's a very nice face paint. I guess it resembles the one in the back right there, I guess. Yeah, it does. So I guess that's why that's there. And the hair is pretty long, I'll admit. It's pretty, pretty long. It has a blonde streak going across the top of the head. 
and there's black on the side but one problem of a default that came along with it was that on the side of the head you can see where the hair wasn't it's actually glued on all the way so you can see a little bit of a crack in between show up Mr. Gato there you go and on the side of the figure also other side right there so that's not problematic I'm sure it's glued on well enough for, to where it won't fall out so that's pretty nice so the head sculpt is pretty nice screaming I, um this, I think this is the only face paint that actually makes it look good. The current Joe Hardy Series 10 or 9, whatever, whichever one had like the white on it. And the face paint doesn't look as good. It makes it look kind of funny looking. So this one's a better better one. So it's pretty cool. They actually detailed inside the mouth of the tongue and the teeth and everything. So it's very nice. And the eyes are actually painted on there very well. And the paint is done exceptionally well. Except sometimes I, I chipped it off by accident somehow with a little pin. And the the rest of the figures basically is just paint black, really. And then the only other on the designs of paints are on his on his sleeve thingies, which grow up his arm. And then they actually started doing this thing where, like the real Joe Hardy, he goes up into his fingers, and so it can actually be held up like that. So you can see this figure is pretty accurate, but nothing too special from Jax. Just uh, I know exclusive Joe Hardy, which I'm good with, but I just wish they were they were more consistent with their figures and their accessories, like it like Mattel is. So another thing that they have, they have consistently been doing is painting on the tattoos on the Jahardi because others, like, if I bring in the first ever Jahardi Deluxe Aggression one, it didn't have that from the first attempt of when he came back to Raw and during 2006 slash 2007 when he came back to Face Edge, he didn't have that or the tattoos here. And then after, like, he went to TNA, this figure came out and it was Series, series 4. Or, yeah, Series 4. No, sorry. Yeah, I think it's 4. But it also didn't come with the paint on the wrist or on the hands either. And you cannot see the tattoo in the back of his neck right there. But it's very nice. Pink. Then figures like this one started coming out. Who had the... Didn't have it painted, but did have the one going up all the way up into the back. And on the side of his neck right there. We'll get to talk of more comparison later, but as far as this figure goes, it's just plain old black for the rest of it. And articulation, since we're almost killing almost 8 minutes, so his head goes side to side and up and down, very little. Yeah, very little, you can kind of go up and down. App crunch, the figure goes very nicely up and down, actually very tight. His um, arms are in a pin and socket, so they go up and down very tightly right now. The cat's having a hard time pulling it down. Bicep, one joint at the elbow with giant muscles. Wrist to go side to side, up and down. I already talked about his ass crunch and he was uh, waist swivel. His thigh articulation is kind of, wait, I just wanted to mention he's kind of this weird thing where you can do this thing with him which is like very wobbly like that. I have no problem with it, it's just a kind of a wobbly figure on that part. So, it likes to go in and out like that. Thigh swivel very smoothly and the Mention as the biggest double jointed knee that there is in existence of action figures with that giant blocky knee But that's acceptable since this is a they're trying to go as much as they can because his pants are very puffy And he has knees to go and I'm sorry ankles that go up and down and Set to side and no ankle pivots so That would be his articulation pretty basic for their jacks figures of deluxe aggression Wait, is that what it's called? Deluxe impact so, as I mentioned, other figures of comparison is basically the same sculpt from up and down. Mine, as you can see, this guy probably has a bigger head, which is kind of weird because it's the exact same body. This is the pink Hardy that came out as part of the Antichrist. Very nice. I like this figure. I mentioned already the first appearance of Hardy, but if you guys if you want to see a comparison of that. Here it is. So this is also a head screaming sculpt, yet not as big as this one. This one somehow manages to be a bit taller. Here he is next to this other Antichrist Joe Hardy, sort of. So again, very tall, very big head. I guess if I want to compare, you want to see a comparison of his head. There it is. Huge head. Huge head Joe Hardy. Alright, so there's that. And the last figure I want to compare it to is my other. This is Rainside Collectibles Joe Hardy um, Bloodline something. And the Twist of Hate Bloodline 2-pack with Matt Hardy. So that's what he looks like. This one also came with a shirt, but it's more troublesome since it has... Like the sleeves and this one actually has a print on the back which is very nice so this has been a review and you can still i guess you maybe you can still snatch up more some more of these figures if you're a huge Joe hardy fan other than that i guess if you already have like other Joe hardys you really don't need this one too much and i guess the accessories are nice i just wish it would be more consistent with them 
So out of, out of all, this is like only my second wrestling figure review, and I have more, but I don't really get as much new ones. But as a rating, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. You got to? Mm, seven. Okay, this has been a review, and you have just witnessed Jeff Hardy in action figure form from Gato Perro. We'll see you later. <laughs>